what's up everyone josh quinones here and today we are back again with yet another drop test with the galaxy s21 ultra but this time we are using subcases unicorn beetle pro their most popular most durable case that they have to offer so we're going to be drop testing this you already know how i do i do three accidental drop tests i'll do one where i'm sitting down the phone accidentally falls uh, off of my lap i'll do one where i'm trying to put the phone in my pocket i miss falls on the floor i'll do one where i'm talking on the phone and it falls down and accidentally hits the floor. And we're gonna see if it protects this device or not. And I do gotta mention, I am using a white stone dome tempered glass screen protector. I literally just got done with my last drop test on my last video. So this phone has already taken a beating today. And as you can see on this tempered glass screen protector I'm using, there is a couple of air bubbles that have formed around the corners right there. So those were already there before I even put this case on. So just keep that in mind. And one thing about this tempered glass screen protector is that it is not as durable as the actual phone display itself. So if the phone is able to protect this tempered glass screen protector from any cracks or scratches, then you know it is doing its job. And the same with the back camera module. I am using a glass screen protector as well. That is not as durable as the one on the phone itself. So if the phone is able, if the case is able to protect it the way it is, then you know it is doing its job. Super, super durable case. Again, this is the Unicorn Beetle Pro. If you find yourself interested in this case by the end of this video, I'll make sure to have some links down in the description below. And if you are not subscribed as of yet, yo, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come like this one so let's go ahead and get this test started starting off with the little sit down test here phones on my lap accidentally get up Woo! get the phones on my lap and look at that doesn't look like any damage was done to the display it's just those same air bubbles that we saw earlier still turns on and off fingerprint sensor is still working good still functioning good as you can see there, running like a beast with that 120 hertz display Camera module still looking good. All right, so let's move on to the next test. Just walking along, you know, I'm done using my phone, want to put it in my pocket. Oops, I okay, now that hit hard. And it landed on the display, but then flipped over to the back. But look at that. No damage was done to that glass display. Still have the same air bubbles that were there before this drop test. Phone still working good, still turning on and off. Still working fast. Going back to the camera module, still looking good. And I mean, the cutouts for this, you're getting some nice deep cutouts for that camera module and some pretty deep lips for the uh, top of the phone and the bottom of the phone as well. So it should protect this display on any flat surface. And I do gotta mention, I am doing this on a flat surface. Don't go you know, chucking your phone in rocks because if there's a rock that is not as deep as that lip, it's going to hit that display and pretty much break it. I mean, it's happened to me before in the past. Actually, it happened when I didn't have a case you know, any phone that hits a rock, it's probably going to break. It's like Jerry Rig, everything says glass is glass and, you know, glass breaks. So just keep that in mind. I am doing this on a flat surface. Just as, This is just to kind of give you an idea of, of how durable these cases are. So let's go ahead and do the last test right here. I'm just, you know, walking along, talking on the phone. It falls out. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here we go. Now, it looks like the screen protector did pop up a little bit, but there is no cracks or scratches. Now I do got to mention the white stone dome screen protector. It's not the best with these bulky cases. If you do happen to drop it, it will kind of push it up like you see there, but it's still going to protect it. Look at that. All you got to do is just push that out and you're good to go. So no cracks, no scratches, looking good. Let's see if it still performs good. Still running good like a beast. Going back to the camera module, camera module looking good. As you can see there, this case does a pretty, whoops. Oops, that was an accident. No, it wasn't. It was on purpose, but <laughs> it landed on his back pretty hard. Still looking good. St just pushed up that uh, screen protector a little bit more. Again, you can just push that air out, but look at that. Still looking good. So when it comes to protection, if you want a case that's really going to protect your device, maybe you work a construction job like myself. I'm always working outside. I definitely need a case like this to get me through my day in case I do happen to accidentally drop it, you know, when I'm out in the field. So this definitely does a very good job at protecting your device. And it just looks cool as well. Look at this metallic red color, looking absolutely amazing. But I do got more cases like this. For us to go ahead and take a look at, they sent me a couple of these in different colors. So now we're gonna head inside, take a closer look at the device. We'll take the case off, make sure no damage was done to the back of the phone. And then we'll take a closer look at the cases as well and the other color options that they have to choose from. So let's go ahead and head inside. All right, so we have made our way back inside as you can see here still got the phone inside the case that we did the actual drop test with and as you can see i got two other colors here and there's also a fourth color available a blue color but all i have available
available right now are these three colors. And if by the end of this video, you find yourself interested in these cases, I'll make sure to drop some links down in the description below. But we already know that this case did a great job at protecting the outer part of this device. We'll take a look at the back right now. But before we do that, I want to make sure everything else is working good. So we're going to take a look at the cameras first. So I actually took some pictures with all of the lenses right here to make sure that the cameras are working fine. This is with the ultra wide angle lens. We got the main lens, the three times telephoto lens, and the 10 times telephoto lens, and all seem to be working perfectly fine. So no damage was done there internally. And then I want to check out these speakers as well. So I'm going to jump into one of my videos here, press play. Let's check out the speakers. And speakers seem to be working perfectly fine. So no damage was done there. And of course the device is still working like a beast. So the case definitely did a great job at protecting this device. No damage was done to this tempered glass screen protector, which I'm really surprised how well it held up because usually these white stone dome glass screen protectors don't work too well with bulky cases like this. It'll tend to pop up, but I was able to push everything back down the little air bubbles that were caused and it's looking really, really good. So. As you can see, everything is good there. Everything is good with that camera module in the back. Now, just looking at the case itself, I'm really loving this metallic red color. I think it looks really, really good. As you can see, it does give you a bit of bulk when it comes to putting it on the device. We do got a kickstand here in the back. So, you know, if you like watching movies, TV shows, playing games or anything like that, you can stand your phone up like that using that. Or you can also use it as a pop socket in the back as well. So very, very cool. But you're getting this nice rugged look, very cool rugged look get this pretty cool uh, carbon fiber look up there at the top and then you get these kind of screw like things around the back they're not real screws but it's just to give it that rugged look so overall very cool looking case going to the right side of course you have the buttons here power button working good let's check out the volume rockers nice and responsive nice and clicky working good of course you got a little cutout right here up at the top for that earpiece got cutouts up at the top for the microphones nothing on the side except for some texture here that's going to help you hold the device keep it more uh secure in your hand you got cutouts for the speaker and then a cutout for the charging port and microphone along with this little flap not a lot of people like the flaps you can always cut that off if you decide to do so but overall a very very cool looking case let's try taking this off really quick and see what the back of the device looks like now this is going to take some work to get off of your phone it is more of a rugged case oh look at that so as you can see when taking it off it did pop that up a little bit pretty sure you can just push that back out. Yeah, you can push that back out. But like I said before, the Whitestone Dome screen protector doesn't work the best with these cases. But if, I mean, if you, you're planning on keeping it on for a very long time, then you probably won't have that problem right there when taking it off. But going to the back of the device, you can see the back of the phone still looking good. Let me give it a quick wipe down here. Take all, away all my ugly fingerprints. Look at that, still looking beautiful in that matte black color. So you can see no damage was done. Everything is looking really good. So let's go ahead and try out the other case. We got the black one here and then we'll test out uh, wireless charging once we get this case on as well. And they're pretty much all going to be built the same. This is their Unicorn Beetle Pro again. It is a two piece case. So you're gonna wanna get this top piece, slap it on just like that. And then you wanna put it into the shell just like that. And it fits in there nice and secure. You're gonna to wanna to push in this flap. It's gonna have the exact same cutouts. Again, this is the exact same case that we just saw with the red one, just a different color. So this is what the black one is going to look like. But let's go ahead and check out a wireless charging. See if that works here. And it looks like wireless charging does work, even though these cases are a bit thicker than you know something like a regular case that's not going to give you as much protection as this wireless charging still works so this is what the black one looks like pretty cool pretty cool let's go ahead and take a quick look at the purple case and here we are this is what the purple one is going to look like on your galaxy s21 ultra and these cases are available for all s21 series not just the ultra and if you find yourself interested in any of these cases by the end of the video i'll make sure to have some links down in the description below so this is what that metallic purple is going to look like very cool very cool where are all my purple lovers out there let me know down in the comments sections below but y'all let me know what you think about these cases down in the 
the comments sections below. What do you think about the drop test? Do you think these cases did a good job at protecting that device? Which one of these would be your favorite if you had to pick one? Again, there is also a metallic blue color as well, which I'll have a link for down in the description below. I don't have that here with me, but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to leave a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks again for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.